So I get so many requests for this vinaigrette. When I make the salad with this vinaigrette, people just go insane. It is just a typical French vinaigrette. And it starts out with minced garlic, some salt, Dijon mustard, um, cr freshly ground black pepper, red wine vinegar, and just slowly drizzling in olive oil. You don't need to use extra virgin, but I mean you could. You can just use regular if you have it. But I start out um, with these ingredients first because I'm trying to dissolve the salt into the red wine vinegar before drizzling in the olive oil. It's, it's pretty important. I mean, you don't want grainy salt pieces, chunks of it in your salad. You want it nicely dissolved so it's like very homogenous. And for those of you who follow my Suela ASMR channel, slight plug-in. <laughs> that is a rose gold fork that I very frequently use on my main channel. <laughs> I just like how it looks. I'm really into rose gold lately. I've even considered getting jewelry done, like high-end jewelry. We'll see if that ever happens. I find it kind of hard to invest in jewelry when I have a child. Because <laughs> I just want to save for my child. So here I happen to have extra virgin olive oil, so that's what I'm going to use, even though I told you you don't have to, but you just use what you have. I probably would stay away from canola oil or vegetable oil because they just don't have enough like light olive flavor. This olive flavor is just, it's just a nice touch in your salad. And you can totally use a whisk. I'm mixing this vinaigrette in a tiny storage bowl, so... <laughs> A whisk wouldn't fit, but definitely use a whisk if you want. And this is supposed to produce a emulsified mixture where the olive oil is is well integrated with the red wine vinegar. I do my best, and you do your best. It ultimately, it tastes delicious, even if the vinaigrette is slightly separated. Right before you mix it, just shake it together and then pour it on your salad, and then it'll be it'll be amazing. You don't need any fancy kitchen tools to make delicious food. That's what I always believe. Back in the day, people, the poor, the rich, the middle class, they all make food, delicious food. And they were all able to do it with a very regular everyday tools. So there you have it. That's my red wine vinaigrette. The next sauce that I'm going to show you how to make is a chimichurri. I'm obsessed with chimichurri. It's slightly vinegary, very herbaceous, very full of flavor. I love it. With fish and steak and seafood. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So I do it in my bullet blender because it's just easier for me. I used minced garlic. I shove in as much parsley as I can using the stem and the leaf. The stem has just as much flavor as the leaves. I don't like wasting it. And then red wine vinegar and a little bit of salt and cilantro and of course extra virgin olive oil or just regular olive oil is fine too. And you need quite a bit of it because you do use a lot of herbs. So here goes the cilantro. It looks like it won't fit, but I make it fit. <laughs> you can use your own discretion. <laughs> if you have a food processor, that you know, use a food processor. Here I just have, I have a food processor, but it's in the back of my closet and it's a pain to put it all together. So this is, this is what I use. So I just put a little bit of cumin, a little bit of chili flakes, and this little like mixer I use for my morning breakfast smoothies, so it's always on the counter. It's a, it's convenient for me. So I pop it in, and then I blend it. If yours gets stuck, you can add a little bit of water too. It's not a big deal. 
I probably wouldn't add any more red wine vinegar because then it'll be too like puckery. And I think this is the standard uh, shake your machine <laughs> to get it all mixed together. <laughs> so the machine does a little dance <laughs> while you wait for it to mix. I love watching it slowly catch all of the ingredients in the upper chamber. Whoa, that's the moment. That's the moment you're like, oh, finally. <laughs> this condiment stays pretty long in your fridge, so you just keep it in there. Whenever you have scrambled eggs, you have a burger, just pop some sauce on and it'll be so delicious. You'll be so happy that you had the sauce ready to go whenever you need it. Look how green that is. It just looks so appetizing. It's perfect. It's so good. You can also mix it with sour cream. You can mix it with mayonnaise. You can put it in your tacos. Yeah, so there's my chimichurri. For the next one, I'm going to show you how I make my um, aioli, which is like a Provencal, like south of France garlic sauce. I'm going to start out by terribly zesting this lemon by not realizing that there's a sticker. So <laughs> don't do what I did and take the sticker, the paper sticker off of your lemon <laughs> before you start zesting. Um, this particular zester, it was too big. This zester is meant for cheese, I think. So I got a proper zester that was somewhere in my drawers. And here we actually get started on zesting the lemon the way you should have, the way I should have from the very beginning. And I zest the entire lemon because there's so much lemony flavor in the rind, so much essential oils that your nose picks up and recognizes as true lemon flavor, more so than the actual juice of the lemon. Give it a thorough whack to get all that good stuff off of the zester. And then the top there, I have minced garlic. I'm going to add everything to my little bowl. I like mixing my sauces in the bowl that I'm going to store it in so that it's just one less, one less thing for me to clean. And that's the garlic. I ended up not using the zest of the paper, <laughs> the papery part of my lemon. And here just use a good mayonnaise, a mayonnaise that you enjoy eating. This one is pretty thick, I get it from Aldi's. At one point I used to make my own mayonnaise because I wanted to mimic a certain brand with a blue label because it got kind of pricey. but. Uh, ultimately, my laziness won out, so now I just purchase it from the grocery store. Even if it's not the very best mayonnaise, like this one is pretty good, I like this one. The convenience just wins now that I have a child. <laughs> my, the demands of my time are much higher now. And basically it's just three ingredients, you mix them up and it'll, it'll last in the fridge. You can put it in your sandwiches, cucumber sandwiches any like sub sandwiches you make, definitely have it with seafood. This is my preferred way to have it. In France, New Year's Day, you have a huge seafood platter with aioli, this garlic sauce. Oop, let me show you. It's so delicious. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.